G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. Today I'm going to show you the easy way to graph parabolas in two easy steps. And the two easy steps that we're going to use for this is first off, we're going to find the vertex. The vertex is this point right here where the graph bends around. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a step pattern in the second step in order to generate some points to solve our particular graph here. The step pattern we're going to be using is 1, 3, 5, 7, and it's going to be multiplied by A. You'll see what this means as we go along. So I reckon we just launch straight into an example. You'll be fine. So to the first example, nice and easy. We have y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. And we're going to graph this using these two easy steps. So first off, we're going to find the vertex. The way that we're going to do that is first off, we're going to find the x coordinate of the vertex using a formula. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use that value to find the y coordinate of the vertex. So let's do that. So we want the x coordinate first, the vertex x coordinate, and this is equal to negative b over 2a. Now, what does this mean? If you have a look at our original formula here, consider the numbers in front of each part of our equation here. We have x squared, but this is 1x squared. So a is equal to 1. The number in front of the x here is the b value. So b is equal to 6. And finally, we have this value C, which is five. We're gonna get back to this because this is a pretty handy value as well. So to find the X coordinate of the vertex, we go negative B over two A. So let's substitute in those values. We have B, which is equal to six. So negative B is equal to negative six. And this is all going over two times A. Now A is equal to one. So two times one is equal to two. So we can solve this pretty easy. Negative six divided by two is equal to negative three. So there we are, we have the x coordinate of the vertex, which is negative three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this in to work out the y coordinate of the vertex. We're gonna substitute it in to this equation here. So we have first off x squared. So we know that x is equal to negative three. So let's just put that in negative three squared. This is plus six times x, which is negative three plus five. So let's work this out. Negative three squared, that's equal to nine. We have six times negative three, so we have minus 18 plus five. So what does this equal? Nine minus 18, that's negative nine, plus five is going to be negative four. So there you go, we have the y coordinate, which is negative four. And therefore, we've found where the vertex is. It's at the coordinate, negative three for x and negative four for y. So let's put that in. We go back three, one, two, three, and down four, one, two, three, four. So we have this spot right there, which is the vertex. Now what we're going to do is the second step. We're going to use this step pattern, one, three, five, seven times A, to finish off our graph here. So how do we do this? Well, we know what A is because we worked it out up here. A is equal to one. So we multiply this by one. Well, we end up with the step pattern, which is just the same, one, three, five, seven. What does this mean? So what we do is from the vertex, we move one across and one up. So one across and one up. Now we move one across and three up. So one across and three up. We move one across and five up. So one across and one, two, three, four, five up. And we'd move one across and seven up, but I reckon we're gonna run our space. So I won't, I won't put that in. Now what we're going to do is to finish off our parabola, we're gonna do the same in the opposite direction. We go back one and up one. We go back one and up three. We go back one and up five. So we can now see the bare bones of our parabola going right here. So let's go through now and draw the parabola in. So going down here, we come down through this point here, through this point here, we continue around to the vertex, go around and up, 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 continuing up, and there you have it, we have our parabolic curve there, our parabolic graph. Let's just quickly put in a couple of points here. So we first off, we have the vertex here, which is negative three and negative four, where its coordinate is. We have two x-intercepts here. We have one at negative five, zero, and we have this one here at negative one, zero. As you can see here, we also have where we intersect the y, axis here, the y-intercept, and this is equal to zero and five. Now, just a little thing about this particular value here, the y-intercept, what you're going to notice is it's equal to this value right here. This value right here straight away tells us what the y-intercept is going to be. 
So nice and easy, and it's a handy little thing for when we're drawing our graph. What about we go through and have a look at another example? So for the next example, we're going to graph y equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 3. In two easy steps, we're going to do this. So first off, we're going to find the vertex. We're going to find the x coordinate first. So the x coordinate, as you remember, was equal to negative b over 2a. So we have a here, which is equal to negative 1. We have b, which is equal to negative 2. And we have c, which is equal to 3, which is also that y-intercept. So let's go through and substitute this in. We have negative b. So negative b, b is equal to negative 2. So negative, negative 2 is equal to 2. And this is over 2a. So a is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So 2 divided by negative 2, we have this value of negative 1. So first off, let's put that in. We have negative 1 as the x-coordinate for the vertex. So now let's work out the y-coordinate of the vertex. We have v, y, and we'll substitute in the value of negative 1 into our equation here. So we have negative, and we have negative 1 squared, minus 2 times negative 1 plus 3. So let's see what that is. Negative 1 squared. Now negative 1 squared, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, and we've got the negative of that. So it's negative 1. Uh, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 plus 3. So what's this all equal? Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. And that is the y value, the y coordinate. So there you go. We know where the vertex is. It's at negative 1, 4. So let's put that in. We have negative 1 and we go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is where we have our vertex. Now let's use this stepping pattern. So the value of a. As you can see here, the value of a is equal to negative 1. So we're going to be timesing by negative 1. Now if you times by negative 1, we're going to change all the signs here. So this is going to go to negative 1. This is going to go to negative 3. This is going to go to negative 5. And this is going to go to negative 7. So this is our step pattern we're going to use. Let's do that. So we start off here. We move across 1 and we move down 1. We move across 1 and we move down 3. We move across 1 and we move down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to run out of room going that way. We do the same going in this direction. Um, we end up with these points here. One there and going down to one there. So as you can see, we have this parabolic curve occurring. Let's draw this in right now. So starting here, we go up, 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 up. Eventually we hit the vertex, we turn around and we come back down. And there you have it. We have our parabolic curve, nice and graphed. We could go through and draw these little parts here where the x-intercepts are, no problems, where the vertex is, no problem. I just want to draw your attention. What you'll notice is the y-intercept here occurs, well, on where we have three here. And that's the same right there. It shows our graph's pretty good. Happy days. Okay, so now let's have a look at another example and get graphing. What about you give this one a go? So we have y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 6. And we're going to solve this in two steps and draw our graph. So first off, we're going to find the vertex. The vertex of x is equal to negative b over 2a. So what's that going to be? We have a, which is 2. We have b, which is 8. And we have c, which is the y-intercept, which is going to be 6. So negative b. Uh, b is equal to 8. So this is equal to negative 8. And we have a, which is equal to 2. So 2 times 2, that's equal to 4. So negative 8 divided by 4, we get the answer of negative 2. So we have the x-coordinate of our vertex, which is negative 2. Now what we're going to do is we substitute this value in to work out the y-coordinate. So we first off have 2, and we have x squared. So x squared, this is negative 2 squared, uh, plus 8x. So plus 8 times negative 2, plus 6. All right, let's solve this. So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Uh, we have 8 times negative 2, that's equal to negative 16, so minus 16, and then we go plus 6. So what does that equal? 8 minus 16 is negative 8, plus 6 is equal to negative 2. So we have our y-coordinate of negative 2. So let's draw this in. We have negative 2 and negative 2. We have our vertex right there. So now let's go through and work out our step pattern. We know what a is equal to, so a is equal to 2. 
So we're going to be multiplying our step pattern by 2. So let's do that. I'll do it in a different color here. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Uh, we have 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. We have 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. And we have 2 times 7, which is equal to 14. Let's draw in our values now. So we move across 1 and we move up 2. We move across 1 and we move up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's where the y-intercept is. Okay, That's what we've got right there. And we're going to run out of room. We do the same on the other side. We move across 1 and move up 2. We move across 1 and we move up 6. Now we should be able to go through and draw in our graph. So let's do that. We start up here and we're going to come downwards. And we're going to hit the vertex, turn around and come back upwards there. And there you have it. We have our parabolic graph there. Maybe this should be a little bit more rounded here. Uh, it wasn't perfect, but that's how you go through and do these. And as I said, the C, the y-intercept, is the same there. So that's how you go through and draw up parabolic graphs in two steps, nice and easy. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. At the Tech Math channel, we've got lots and lots of tricks to keep you entertained and to keep you working at maths. A big shout out to my patrons and my subscribers. I thank you for your support. And I thank you if you've watched this far so far. We'll see you next time. Bye.